Another group of proteins that you'll want to know are the cell surface proteins that are involved. There are specific ones that you'll want to know for the board, so this list is by no means exhaustive, but we'll focus in on what's high yield. On the surface of T cells, we have the T cell receptor that binds to the antigen MHC complex. We have CD3, which is associated with the TCR. It's not involved in recognition, but it's involved in signal transduction to activate the T cell. The CD28 on the surface of T cell, remember, binds to B7 on the APC and is involved in co-stimulation. Helper T cells express CD4, which is involved in MHC class 2 recognition, and CD40 ligand, which binds to CD40 on B cells and upregulates cytokine receptors. And cytotoxic T cells express CD8, involved in the recognition of MHC class 1. On the surface of B cells, we have immunoglobulin. Remember that BCR surface receptor is an IgM monomer, and that's responsible for recognizing and binding the specific antigen that the B cell is going to respond to. It also expresses CD19 and CD20, which were identification markers that are commonly used to identify B cells, CD21, which is the receptor for Epstein-Barr virus, CD40, which is involved in that CD40-CD40 ligand interaction that we talked about. B cells can express MHC class 2 and function as antigen-presenting cells, and they also express B7 to give that co-stimulatory signal to the T helper cells. Macrophages, being APCs, can express MHC class 2 as well as B7. They also express CD40, so they can interact with the T cells through that interaction as well. They express CD14, which is a good surface marker and identity marker that we use to identify macrophages. So remember, CD14 is specific for macrophages. They also express receptors on the surface for different types of proteins. They have FC receptors so that they can recognize antibodies that are opsonizing bacteria. And they also have C3B receptors for the same reason, so they can identify when C3B is opsonizing a bacteria. NK cells have receptors for MHC class 1 recognition. They express a protein called CD16, which binds to the FC portion of IgG. And they express CD56, which is a unique marker for NK cells, so we use that again as a marker of identity. All cells, except for mature red blood cells, remember, express MHC class 1, or in other words, all nucleated cells. A mnemonic to help remember this, you can drink beer at the bar when you're 21. B cells, beer, Epstein-Barr virus, there's the bar, CD21. So CD21 is the surface marker on the B cells that is involved for receptor recognition and binding of the Epstein-Barr virus. Let's talk about a specific phenomenon called energy. This is a process by which self-reactive T cells become non-reactive, and it involves the lack of a co-stimulatory molecule. Remember that for T cells to become activated, they have to have two signals, one through the MHC-TCR interaction and one through the B7-CD28 interaction. If the B7-CD28 interaction isn't there, this produces a T cell state of energy, which means it becomes non-reactive or shut off and it won't ever activate. B cells can also become energic, but tolerance is less complete in the B cells than in the T cells.